Hello friends of Kike Matamitos, today I'm going to show you how to make a very popular drink in the Christmas Eve in Mexico. So this is called something like a ponche navideño or ponche navideño mexicano. That is something like Mexican punch, okay? It's, it's something that exists in many places in the world that is just a fruit, bits of fruit, punch that you drink hot okay here because the christmas eve is in winter so it's freezing you like to drink something very warm very hot and well our ingredients gonna be these ones okay for fruits for fresh fruit we need guavas like these ones that you see tejocotes that is this mexican fruit that you see these are tejocotes and apples okay another thing that we're gonna use that is not a fruit is a piece of sugar cane a fresh sugar cane other ingredients gonna be panocha that is like a not refined sugar in bars like this one this is called panocha real cinnamon i mean this is real cinnamon i told you that it's real because you see something like like this i mean it's not like a the fake cinnamon that is uh, i don't know how to say it but it's not like this one raisins pecan nuts and jamaica flowers or surreal well something that you see here okay people we're gonna be doing this step by step first obviously it's a drink we need simple water beautiful water okay just with this water for storing okay and we put it just in fire in fire we don't need a water it doesn't have to burn fire okay and we put the cinnamon there we maybe we can uh, make the cinnamon open it so we're gonna make it that is optimized to the flavor the smell it starts to dissolving in the water so we're gonna make first the cinnamon because it's something that takes more time to be ready to keep color to the water and well you just follow this recipe that I give to you okay first the cinnamon and water simple like that we cover it okay. and we're gonna wait that start to boiling okay before go to the next step okay people we're gonna advance in with the sugar cane because it's very hard and we need to, to do it see it's strong <laughs> it's, it's a little bit hard okay need, need a little bit of skills so you see something like this this is not reward so we need to avoid this the joints something like this we need to pell it okay people this tip is very important I want to show you and Pipucho is showing sugar cane because it's very sweet and he likes the sweet things uh, I'm gonna tell you there are people that every ingredient is in the same size i mean they just want to make a simple drink that you drink it like this maybe with a little spoon a little bit of the ingredients but for me i like to all the food and drinks break the monotony make the people that can play with the ingredients and get a better experience 
okay? So my idea with the sugar cane and the other ingredients gonna be not uh, make little pieces, just uh, like normal size pieces like this one, yeah, like you can see, because when is the when the gonna be in the ingredient just for say example, we're gonna put the drink, the sugar cane there, and the people can pick up this and share win and enjoy it and keep drinking and that give you a better experience that just a plain monotonous system okay also the fruit people can use something like this but <laughs> a little bit smaller mm. yeah for example with one of these the one tejocote like this mm. 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 drinking so that's make it more fun people so don't make food or drinks monotonous anything that is monotonous is boring okay also the videos in youtube if they make it monotonous gonna be boring <laughs> because i need to tell you something about guavas if you know the guavas you're gonna know that they are seeds inside there are people that don't like to eat the seeds or feel the experience of seeds for me it's okay because the part around the seeds is the most sweet and more flavored uh, of the guava but also the skin has another flavor different more and like a more like a perfume like a smelling so that is two variations that you can do you for me i prefer to put the guavas like this because like you can see they are not so big guavas so i can put it there just like that without cut anything and that's gonna work because it's around the skin where the smell, the strongest smell give it to the water and make the drink but if the guava is so big so obviously you need to careful about seeds so there is two options you can, the small one, you just leave it there okay, if that is, is big one maybe you can do this but you need to use a spoon for discard the seeds like this, okay? And this gonna have the seeds, and you just save the skin with a little bit of fruit there, that is still good. And you avoid the seeds because they are hard, and some people don't like it because it's showing and can hurt the the you know the teeth, the molars. So that's according how you like for me it's okay i know how to eat a guava i know that i don't need to share with so hard like a... i know that for eat a guava it's like a... and you throw it with all the seeds and no problem okay people what i'm gonna tell you if you cook the guava like this and you put in the water boiling the seeds gonna this <laughs> desbaratar, ¿cómo se dice desbaratar en inglés? Ok, gonna, the guava gonna be in pieces and the hard seeds gonna contaminate all the, the punch and gonna ruin it. So be careful, if you quit it, be sure that quit all the seeds. Or just leave it like this. Ok. Ok, but something for aesthetics is, is cut the part where the flower was there. You put something like this, the black areas, the guava, and just leave it like this, okay? And I'm gonna do that with all the guavas. It's very important that you follow the order how I put ingredients, because if I put the guavas first, they're gonna be so soft that they're gonna disintegrate it right there, okay? First, the hard ingredients, and uh, to the end, the softer ingredients, okay? Just follow this, okay, people? The cinnamon uh, don't show color in the water. I'm gonna show you, but I'm gonna put the sugar cane because it's hard, and I want that the smell and flavor of the sugar cane go to the water now. It's no problem. It's hard ingredient, so I'm gonna put it there, okay? Okay, and there is the water, there is the cinnamon. Usually the cinnamon give color to the water.
but need more time but you know this is gonna be taking more time so it's it's okay you see we need to continue to put in okay now we need to wait that boil again before put the other ingredients but for be honest right now we can put the jamaica flowers because you start to boiling like you can see okay and there go the jamaica flowers that's gonna give a lot of color smell and flavor to this instantly gonna be red water <laughs> Okay, the apple is a little big, so it's not possible with a stick to eat them like this and something. So we're gonna cut it like this and boil in the center of the apple, okay? Just like this, okay? So we can break the monotonous. Okay, this is fine, so we cut the other one like this, it's fine. This one is a little big, we put it like this, now it's fine, okay? Like this. Also, people, the guavas are like a green one, so they are not totally mature when I chose them. It's not because um, I want like that, it's because I only find it like this, but it's okay, no problem. We, you can do it with the guavas that you find, but you need to have common sense. If the guava is so mature and it's very soft, obviously you're not gonna put it right now. But right now, I feel it, the guava, hard, so I think it can be okay to put it before the apples. Yeah? Okay, people, if you see the water is getting dry, because not need to be so dry, you can see we are using the same water that we put there. But I see that it's going to be very dry because keep boiling, so I put just a little bit more water. Okay, use for that. Yeah, me yeah. toma el macro. Y agrega esto. Okay, people, and this is the color for the water that you can see is for the Jamaica. A little bit of the cinnamon. And this is gonna be boiling more. And then we're gonna put the, you know, the not refined sugar there. Okay, the panocha. Panela or piloncillo. Okay, and we're gonna wait that start to boiling, and this is gonna be dissolved there in water. Okay, people, when the families make these drinks for the Christmas Eve, uh, start to smelling all the house to all the ingredients that you see, and people usually say, oh, it starts to, to smell it like Christmas. Okay, people? So the next ingredient that we're gonna put in the water boiling is the tejocote because the tejocotes are uh, hard to cook and also there is a fruit that don't have too much flavor and need to take a little bit of flavor of the rest of ingredients. But this fruit help to break again the monotony. Okay, sweet up apples, sweet guavas, sweet sugar cream, sweet raisins, and then a uh, fruit that is not so sweet. So when, uh, I don't know how to say it, but when start to hostigarte, lo dulce, you can eat one of these and you fix it and keep it joining. Okay, people, and we mix it a little bit. And you can see that there is too few water, okay? There is too few water for the ingredients, but it's fine, we need to start to boiling. When we put all the ingredients, we're gonna fill this pot to this side, okay? Because it, this is a drink, it's not a soup, okay? But we're gonna use the, the fruits for enjoying this. I think uh, many countries do something like this. So say it in comments if you do something similar. In Europe, in Arabic countries, Asia, or maybe USA or America or Australia, <laughs> Oceania. <laughs> okay, people, you need to have good feeling. You need to, to pick up something and touch it. Touch it like this, it's hot, but you touch it and it start to feeling soft. The tejocote start to feeling soft. And now it's time, it's time to put the rest of the fruits, dude. 
like the guavas and the apples, okay? But okay. first we're gonna put the, up, the guavas and then the apples, like you, we say. Mix it, we put the guavas and stop boiling, okay? Because the guavas are cold, the, you know, the thermodynamics. So we need to cover again the pot and wait that start boiling again before put the apples, the chopped apples. The last ingredients gonna be the pecan nuts and the raisins because they are ready very soon, okay? Okay, people, we need to hurry up to put apples. So I'm gonna put them there. Because, watch what happened with the guavas. They break down, so we are in danger that the seeds start to spread in around the, so I need to tell you. Maybe it's better to don't put the seeds, but it's okay, all, all the seeds are there. It's not right now spreading around the, the, the things, okay? So we put the, the apples there. And we cover it again. Okay, people, no, we need to fill that pot with water. And we need to hurry up because the fruit is very soft. Okay, people, look at that. Yeah, I told you people, my idea with the guavas not works because the guavas explode and the seeds gonna contaminate the rest of I told you, it's better to not put the seeds, okay? But, like you can see, the seeds are not spreading around. They're still there, okay? So, we are fine, <laughs> we are fine. Okay? We are fine, you see? She moved the guavas, but no seeds. But for prevent, if you overcook the guavas and the seeds start to spread in around the drink, better to not put them, okay? Okay, people, at this point, it's good idea to mix very well the ingredients, okay? Because sometimes the sugar going down, do you mean? Going down in the pot. You take a little bit, you use in a glass, and you try it. Mm. For me, it's okay. But if for you feel that need more sweetness because the fruits or the panocha are not so sweet, you can put sugar there, okay? According how do you like it, okay? Okay, people, it's time to put the last ingredients and wait to boil it again with all the water okay i try it was sweet normal for me but no i gonna put raisins that these are very sweet so we're gonna need uh, to, to wait and see how it's going okay the pecan nuts and raisins Those? together see we mix it a little bit see Oh, the guavas start to spread in the seeds, yeah, bad idea, but anyway. Yeah, I see many, many ponches, I mean, many ponches that have uh, in guavas together. Maybe my fail was not put the guava in tear, it was that I cut them, the, the part of the flowers, so that make it more easy to, okay, or they put it in the end okay but it's uh, like you can see it's not too much spread it but yes better not put seeds guava seeds okay if you make it yes i need to be honest with you because you can see many recipes in youtube and they make it and you look it that looks perfectly but they just want to make a video for get views okay don't really want to teach you that is why many people feel it that it's not the recipe who looks in the video okay no not works for me because they are not honest i am honest so don't put guava seeds in the punch okay people no time to cover it and wait this is the last boiling and it's gonna be ready okay people no it's boiling you can mix it and we can say that this punch, this 
Mexican style punch is ready. Okay, people, it's the time of the truth. So we just take a little bit of everything. You, I can try to search a sugar cane like this one here. Pecan nuts. Try to make that have a little bit of everything and fill it with the drink, okay? Like this. And yes, this is the drink and this is how to enjoy it. You just can put, for example, an apple. Mm. <laughs> Está caliente. I am not good for, for the hot things. Uh, for be honest, I, I like it warm because I am so sensitive to the hot but mm, the taste is very very good the sugar cane mm, mm, very very sweet this punch is perfect people Yes, you need to throw this because you cannot eat this. It's so loza, so loza. Okay, right now I cannot drink alcohol because I am in treatment, but you can put any kind of alcohol that you want there and give it another flavor, okay? Okay, people, with the raisins, with the consumption of the concentration of the ingredients, for me, it's okay, don't need too much sugar. All of the rest ingredients can be sweet, can have another flavors. So it's according how you like. You can put more sugar if you want. Depends of how you feel it. Okay? Thank you for watching this.